Steve, thank you. A man arrested for a hit and run crash that killed a 26 year old from Fairfield today went before a judge. As News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports, the victim's family made their presence known in court. Not an easy day for the family of Hazim Mohammed. A dozen of them were at this arraignment, which was the first time they saw the man charged in their loved one's death. It's just, it's hard to see him out. Hazim Mohammed's girlfriend, Abby Calderon, held hands with his sister and spoke through tears after Haro Lopez Bonilla appeared in court. If he cared, he would have stayed and helped him, and maybe we'd be in a different situation. Mohammed was killed while riding his motorcycle last Tuesday evening. Fairfield police say he was on Kings Highway East near Jennings Road when Lopez Bonilla drove into him and never stopped. Police tracked down Lopez Bonilla later that night and arrested him on charges of negligent homicide with a motor vehicle and evading responsibility resulting in death. He posted $250,000 bond later, much to the dismay of Mohammed's family. He was a son, he was a brother, he was a friend, he was a loved one, and that's gone now. The attorney for the family joined them at the arraignment where he addressed the judge pointing out their presence. The family just wanted to make sure the court was aware that they're going to be here for every hearing and all they ask for is justice. Lopez Bonilla entered a not guilty plea and requested a jury trial, which is standard. His attorney told News 12 there is still an investigation and urged people not to rush to judgment in this tragic incident. The facts will show. And I think that people will see, soon see that this is not an incident where somebody was being belligerent, malicious, or operated with any negligence or malice to produce any type of injury to any person. In court, the judge ordered that while Lopez Bonilla is out on bond, he cannot drive and must turn over his passport. He's back in court here October 4th. In Bridgeport, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.